مشاهدينا وين ما كنتوا عم تتابعونا بلبنان وبالعالم ضيفة لليوم ضيف مميز لمع بمجال الفن وخاصة فن الرقص هو وزوجته اتحدوا كثنائي لتقديم أفضل ما عندهم وتقديم نوع من الرقص الراقي يلي هو البالي كلاسيك بيسعدني اليوم يكون ضيفي خوسي مانويل جيسو تهادا هي the first dancer of the Santiago Ballet بريمير بايلارين del Ballet in Santiago in Chile We are so honored to have you um, Mr. Jose and uh, we really appreciate uh, this kind of art and especially uh, the ballet uh, first, of all, uh, uh, first of all, I just want to ask you about where and how did you start uh, uh, dancing ballet and uh, do you remember anything uh, special uh, when you first uh, start uh, your uh, career and your study in, uh, in ballet? I'm going to ask Jose عن كيف بلش برقص الباليه وكمان اذا بتذكر حيا الله شيء مميز طبع بذكرته بما يختص بالدروس اللي تبعها بالباليه وبالذكريات الاولى اذا فينا نقول لبدايه مسيرته الفنيه Hello I'm Jose Manuel Giso and it's a pleasure for me to be here with all of you and share this amazing interview but first, I want to tell you something about me. I was born in Cali, Colombia, South America. I'm a classical ballet dancer, and today I am principal dancer at the Ballet de Santiago in Chile. But when I was young, I started studying ballet when I was seven years old, when I entered in Col Ballet. In Col Ballet is an artistic school which trains professional dancers, and after eight years of study, you graduate from school. I graduated from school in 1997 and then I was part of the Ballet de Cali. Of course, I have very nice memories of my life, of the school, my classmates and teachers, and of course, many ballets that we perform in those years. I think have been wonderful years in my life and have left a great mark on my heart. Today I live and dance in Chile and this I must thank the education I received in Incol Ballet. نعم بيقول انه بلش رقص الباليه بسن سبع سنوات بكل باليت يلي هي مدرسه للفن وهي بتدرب الراقصين المحترفين وبعد ثمان سنين من الدروس والمتابعه تخرج سنة 1997 وبتذكر الأيام الحلوة كتير بدراسته وكانوا بحسب قولته إنه كانوا من أجمل سنين حياته. مستر خوسي، what are your qualities when uh, you want to make the comparison between you and your wife? Uh, she's also a dancer. Her name is Natalia Berrios. عم بسأل السيد خوسي عن زوجته اللي هي كمان راقصة راقصة وراقصة عفوا وشو بيقدر يحكي عن هالثنائي اللي هن كونوه كراقصين محترفين. I'm married with Natalia. She is a classical ballet dancer too, and she is a great dancer. And that has led her to be named principal dancer star here in Chile. And I have been lucky to have a beautiful career as a principal dancer here in Chile too. I think we are a couple that complement each other perfectly. Natalia is a very professional dancer and that is something I try to imitate her. But on the other hand, I'm very patient and calm and that makes us a great couple in ballet and the real life. The true for us, it has been a nice experience working together as a dancers and being coupled in real life. And maybe that has allowed us to understand each other very well on stage. But of course, when we left the theater, we left the dancers there and we go home as parents and family. We have a son, his name is Thomas and, and he is 12 years old. نعم بيقول انه زوجته كمان راقصه باليه، she's the principal dancer 
ستارت ان تشيلي وهن زوجين متكاملين زوجته كمان محترفه وهو عنده رواء كتير لانه الباليه كمان بيتطلب رواء وهذا الشيء كتير مهم لهيدا النوع من الرقص اشتغلوا سوا وكانت تجربه كتير حلوه خاصه انه متزوجين وقدروا يصير في تناغم على المسرح يعني كونهم كمان هن كابل وعندهم عندهم ابن اسمه توماس الله يخلي لكم اياه وعمره 12 سنه Uh, what are the responsibilities that you assume uh, as you are the principal uh, ballet dancer uh, of the Ballet de Santiago? Um, if you want to talk about the characters, the scenarios, the connection between you and uh, your partner. I'm just going to ask you, how do you feel about the responsibility of the first dancer in the Ballet of de Santiago? وقديش بحس انه هيدا فعلا بالنسبة لإله بيزيدوا بيزيدوا اذا فينا نقول مسؤولية وبيزيدوا قوة لانه كمان الباليه هو تهذيب لشخصية الانسان Be the first dancers of a ballet company, it's a great responsibility not only are you in charge of telling the story of a ballet but you are also a benchmark for new generations and talking about the characters we play in a ballet uh, the creation of a character begins with the work together with the choreographer of ballet they are in charge of giving us the details of each role and are the ones who give us at work to achieve the right character and talking about the scenarios we have faced it the truth is that we have enjoyed it a lot and it has been a great achievement in our careers. Having danced in great theaters around the world such as Havana, Miami, Shanghai, Praga, Venice and many more in which they have always recognized our artistic dedication. And the connection between us works very well and that make us a couple who understand each other very well on a stage and that has allowed us to dance together all these years. نعم بيقول انه هي مسؤولية مهمة كتير وهو بيعتبر حاله قدوة للجيل الصاعد بالبالي عم بيحكي عن مصممي الرقص يلي بيعطوه تفاصيل الرقصات وبيقول انه الشخصية لازم تتاخد مثل ما هي ليقدر يرقص بطريقة كتير مناسبة السيناريوز بيقول انه رقصوا على كتير مسارح حول العالم من نبيا ميامي من نبيا براغ وغيرها وبيقول انه التواصل بينه وبين الشريكة او زوجة جيد جدا وهن ثنائي لانه اصلا هن بحبوا بحبوا بعضهم ويعني في هال هالتناغم كمان هن لانه زوجين. In addition to uh, to this project Mr. Jose, what are you doing to spend time at home? What kind of challenges uh, uh, artists have uh, in this time or they are facing in this time and how ballet can help in uh, post-pandemic uh, reintegration with the public and the society. I'm just going to ask the Lord Jose, what are the other things that you are doing in the house or in the house? What are the challenges that you are doing in the house and the house, especially in the virus of Corona? And how can the house of the house help in the reintegration of the people into the society after the pandemic of the the virus of Corona? The pandemic has allowed us to enjoy our home a lot and spend more time with our son. But every day we do our ballet class and some exercises to keep our muscles. And of course, we are already thinking about new ideas and videos and trying to keep our minds and hearts busy. So we have very soon to be able to show you a new videos and other projects we are already working on. I think the great challenge is to be able to stay in shape after spending so many months without being able to leave our houses. It will be very difficult to return to the stage and to be able to dance an entire ballet. We will need time to be well prepared before going on a stage. 
بيقول انه الجائحة خلتنا نقعد بالبيت مع ابننا وكان دايما وكل يوم عم بينعمل كان صفوف للرقص من داخل البيت وكمان كان عم بيقوموا بتمارين وعم بيفكروا باشياء جديدة اكيد تنعمل دايما لترجع الناس لحياتها الطبيعية البالي هي ثقافة بالنسبة له والثقافة كتير مهمة بالمجتمع لتثقيف الفرد التحدي هو انه يضلوا محافظين على رشقتهم their shapes وخاصة انه هن قاعدين طول الوقت بالبيت ويعني كل الناس مثل خوسيب everyone is staying at home and uh, want to uh, to uh, stabilize their their weight and to have uh, this uh, this shape uh, well done uh, بيقول كمان انه uh, بده كثير وقت لنرجع لحياتنا الطبيعية وهو بعول على الراقصين والراقصات ليرجعوا يعيدوا الامل بالحياة و ممكن انه عن جد البالي يكون نوع من انواع الرقص انا بالنسبه لي اللي يلي هو بهذب الانسان وبيرجع بخليه هيك كله حيويه وكله طاقه ليرجع ينطلق بالمجتمع. Thank you so much Mr. Jose Manuel Giso Tejado for this amazing interview. Again and again we are so honored to have you with us on Mariam TV channel. Uh, I wish you the best of luck, you and your wife, Natalia. And a uh, special uh, thanks to, to uh, Mrs. Uh, Anna Cecilia Khouri-Ferali for preparing and being in contact uh, with you and with us uh, to make this interview happen. Um, we hope that after the pandemic, uh, the coronavirus, everything uh, will get better, especially uh, the the dance, the dance, the the ballet dance, and all the ballet dancers. We are uh, so great and honored that uh, really in this world we have uh, such beautiful art. Uh, personally, I love ballet because I did uh, eight or nine years of uh, ballet classic here in Lebanon. So. Um, there is always a special place to this dance, to, to ballet in my heart. Thank you so much again. مشاهدينا بتشكر متابعتكم لنا بهالمقابلة الفنية والراقية الجميلة. ملتقنا معكم دايما بموعد جديد. دخليكم معنا وتابعونا دايما على شاشة مريم تي في وعلى فيسبوك شانل أو فيسبوك بيج مريم تي في لبنان لمقابلة كتيرة حول العالم ودايما من برنامجنا من البيت الله معكم. Oh, 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 oh,